Today, new details on a dismissed criminal case of a former Rhode Island lawmaker. As we first reported yesterday on Eyewitness News, extortion charges against former state Senator Nicholas Kettle were dropped. And earlier today, the Target 12 investigators met up with Kettle, but he had little to say. Hey, you uh, happy that the case is over now? Nick, are you, are you happy they dropped the case? Do you feel you were targeted in any way? Do you want to say anything to the, the people you represented? For more on why prosecutors dropped the case, Eyewitness News reporter Anita Buffoni sat down with Kettle's attorney. Anita joins us now from the newsroom with the interview. That's new at 6. Caroline and Mike, Nick Kettle's attorney tells me Kettle's accuser is related to a state trooper. And because of that, he believes the case was mishandled. The extortion case against former state senator Nick Kettle was dropped after new evidence came to light. Kettle's attorney says it was three years worth of Facebook messages between him and his accuser that were submitted to prosecutors. Attorney Paul DeMeo says those messages showed a friendship between the accuser and Kettle. The tone of it is, is completely opposite of what he was testifying to. Kettle was charged with two counts of extortion and blackmail last year after he was accused of extorting sex from a male page at the State House. DeMeo says then Attorney General Peter Kilmartin didn't properly examine the case. Then in January, when Peter Nerona took over, the case was given a fresh look. According to DeMeo, the male page was related to a state trooper, which he says clouded how the case was handled. They dropped their guard in this case, as he never would have been indicted if they had bothered to really consider the possibility this kid was not telling the truth. DeMeo says Kettle and his family were emotional when they learned the case was dropped. They all cried. His mother cried. How would you feel when this, this serious cloud is off your head? Now, I called state police and they would not comment on DeMeo's statements, nor would they confirm whether uh, Kettle's accuser is related to a state trooper. In a separate case, Kettle pleaded no contest to two counts of video voyeurism and was sentenced to three years probation. In the newsroom, I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.